There's what? something in the barn, Kaylee. What is it? What's in the barn? Something. We know that. It's an, it's an elf. <laughs> it's an elf. Yeah. <laughs> so we have an American family who inherits a house in Norway. And they are there, uh, much to the chagrin of the daughter. And they move into this new house. It's always a new house. Always, right? It's always a new in house. In horror yeah. movies, it's always about a new location you're not familiar with. And of course, that's for a few reasons, right? That's always because, number one, it's unfamiliar. And number two, it's because it's like if you've been living there for 40 years, it's like, why right. hasn't anything happened right. yet? Yeah. Right? But it's always, no matter what it is, it's almost always. And with any like hauntings or monsters or anything, it always has to be like, a new we house. just moved <laughs> in. And then, of course, like always, you know, you go into town and everyone's like, you know, whoa, you just moved to town? And they're like, yeah. Oh, where'd you move? Oh, up at the blank place. And they're and like, they're like <laughs> you so move there. Yeah. The tropes in horror are just ridiculous, They're and funny. it's true of any movie, right? Or like every um, genre yeah. has their tropes. It's just like, I mean, just this year alone, you know, we watched. This is my one hundred and sixty sixth twenty twenty three horror film. Wow! And there isn't a single one of these. That doesn't have, that isn't just loaded. With tropes. With horror tropes. It's yeah. it, it literally is impossible at this point. Yeah. But it's just so funny. It's, it, it really just becomes this like rinse, lather, repeat, recycle mm -hmm. kind of thing. Anyways, moving on from that. This movie stars Martin Starr, uh, who's the only one that I recognize in this film. Everyone else is, is new to me. Um, he actually has my favorite joke or like comedy bit in the entire mcu oh really yeah and far from home when he sits next to peter on the plane and peter like wants to of course sit next to mj uh -huh. and he has to go sit next to the teacher instead because of the allergy um that the teacher thinks that she might have or whatever uh he then comes back and he's talking about the blip and he talks about how his wife like pretended to blip and just <laughs> yeah. like left him. Yeah. I that's the darkest joke in the MCU to me, and I so I laughed up. about that for quite a while in the theater because I was just like, that is dark. Yeah, that's to, just to like use that excuse to just bail on your husband. <laughs> Be like, sorry, I blipped. <laughs> I, I just blipped. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Anyway, he's really funny in this too. Yeah. He's always funny. Mm -hmm. um, he's from, you know, a lot of like Judd Apatow type mm. films, um, like uh, Knocked Up and whatnot. Mm. But uh, yeah, so yeah, there's an elf in the barn. And of course, the these uh, there's rules like a gremlin, and this is set on Christmas. So this is a Christmas themed horror film. And um, of course, they break all the rules because no one believes them. Yep. The kid makes makes friends with him like freaking prancer it's kind of what it reminds me of or any of these movies where the kid's like befriending the the, the monster the little monster the, yeah right like trumpy and pod people only mystery science theater 3000 fans would have any idea what i'm talking <laughs> about or like an et which of course pod right. people is ripping off um but yeah so okay as far as this film goes um it's much more Okay, I guess I'll say this. I'm kind of shocked. And I feel like it's a bit of a misstep that they didn't go one way or the other. Mm. So they made this like an R-rated movie, but didn't. Mm -hmm. Right? So it's like, what's the point of making this R-rated if you're not going to really just go for it? Right? This should have been much more violent, much more bloody. You could still have the same tone. Yeah. This film has a very, like, playful family Christmas tone to it. But then they just throw in a bunch of F-bombs mm -hmm. and then a little bit of blood here and there. And it's like, just take those out, cut yeah. down the blood a little bit, and you'd have a bigger audience to sell this movie to. Because I do think that this, the the style of this film is, is, is probably a little more catered towards, like, a PG-13 rating. Mm -hmm. 
But if you have this style of humor with like really graphic, fun R-rated stuff, yeah, it would work. Sure, yeah, well, as well. So it, it, I don't, it I don't feel like is, it could pick a lane. Yeah, it was like in the middle of both of those. And that's that's my biggest gripe of the film. Yeah, but I I did I did really like the family mm -hmm. and like their experience in Norway and all of that. I, I thought the dialogue from everyone and and the banter back and forth and the and and the family chemistry. Yeah, and, you know, because we got a stepmom here and you know the kids aren't really fully bought into her yet, and the daughter and her are having a back and forth. And mm. I thought all that stuff worked, and I thought the humor mostly worked. It's just ah, it's just it's that it's that tone. That's so uneven on like go R mm -hmm. or go PG thirteen. And it felt like this movie was trying to do both. Yeah, I agree with you. I really like the family and I agree about the tone and everything too. Um, I also really like the like uh somebody like a foreigner moving to a new country and like their interactions with the locals, like all of that I thought was really fun. Um, and the setting itself was was very cool as well. There's a lot of snow, but it felt very Christmassy and wintry, and I enjoyed all of that. And as far as like the creature design goes, I mean, they look pretty they people. They look like people, but I liked <laughs> like there's the sounds, the noises that they make, and the way they talk and stuff was really cool, like very Their guttural voices. and like yeah. Norwegian sounding. Yeah. And I enjoyed it though. Like I think it was cool, and it was like it's a fun. It was just a fun time, really. It was a fun little horror movie. Yeah, it's fun. It's a good one for to throw on for like the Christmas spirit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you got the family around mm -hmm. and the family's a little bit more sensitive, and you're like, hey, look, like I know it's R, but you'll all be fine. This is like a good one for the family. Yeah. Even you know maybe not little kids, but. If, if you got someone like 13, somewhere in that yeah. area, they'd be totally fine. There's the, not the any gore, gore or anything. This would, this would probably be on the level of like Krampus. Yeah. Right? I feel like if you just threw a, and the naughty cut is that example. Like if you just threw in a couple F-bombs into Krampus, you know, you'd have something like this. Krampus mm -hmm. is better, but this is fine. This is a, this is a, this is a totally fun family christmas movie yes. that just happens to be r for kind of no reason yeah um but yeah if i was to instead though and funny enough how we talked about tropes and unoriginality and everything if i was to recommend a better movie that also came out this year that is very similar but has better creatures and goes much harder into the R territory and has a almost identical plot. It is the film Unwelcome. Yeah. yeah I yeah, love yeah. that one. That one was really cool. Right. And the creature effects work in there is like a, you know, freaking, uh, well, I was going to say Jim Henson, but I think it is it's a Henson super production. Cool. Isn't it's it? not Christmas themed, though, but. No, it's not, but. That's fine. Is that not? I know that I the. I don't know. I thought I don't that know. the effects work. For some reason, I, I swear I thought um, the Henson uh, company was mm. a, was attached to it, even though they don't look like Muppets or anything. I don't. Know but I really love the effects and the creature designs in that. It, yeah. That'd probably be it. Like if I had to do my top three, it'd mm -hmm. be a creature was stirring. Yeah. Dark Harvest, which would be yeah. number one. Yeah, Dark, Dark Harvest, Harvest was number one, and then number two probably would actually be uh, Unwelcome. Yeah. And then yeah, three yeah. would be. Um, creature was stirring so mm -hmm. yeah uh that would that would be more if you're, you're looking for like a creature feature of like people moving to a new area mm -hmm. and and the creatures are are like lore that, lore based yeah. yeah that that are around that area um that would be the better of the two but because it's christmas and, yeah. and people are looking for christmas horror uh if you're going to pick between the two though uh christmas movies that we watched recently a, a creature was stirring yeah. is absolutely the one to watch, but this isn't a bad watch. This no, is this is it was a fun, fun Christmas movie. Yeah, I had a good time watching it. Honestly, it's like an it's an easy watch. Too. Yeah, I wouldn't. But I wouldn't just... be opposed to watching it again one day no, for Christmas. No, like I, I would throw either. this on, yeah. and, you know, um, during Christmas time. Yeah, yeah, it has a really nice holiday feel to it mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, I'm into it, and it's got that like, you know, that Norwegian feel yeah. of like, um, 
the townsfolk mm. and and the town that they go into yeah. and and the way everyone's talking to them and there's a lot of jokes about like Americans, the United States the yeah. United States and and guns and stuff it's I, so funny. I thought that stuff was pretty funny um and there's some parody towards Norwegians as well yes uh on the flip side of that um but yeah no it's fun it's good yeah yeah, yeah I I had a good time me too. You know, I, I think this could have been fantastic. Sure. Had, you know, the kills been more graphic and and you really focused in on that and mm. it became kind of a bloodbath because yeah. they do get into um, a battle. And mm. I feel like there was a huge opportunity there sure. to be, you know, to use that R rating. It's yeah. like, what's the point of the R rating? If it's all of it's going to be is like some blood splatter and, and the kids swearing. Right. Right? Yeah. Like, I don't know. That's just not enough. It's like, go one or the other. So, anyways, yeah. Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas. check this out. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye.